Hey y'all, this is Michelle with Celtic Wind Farm and I wanted to bring you guys along today. We're going to have immunization day and warming day for our babies and we're going to do immunization for the adults. We're probably not going to show you all of them because it would get boring seeing the same thing over and over and over again, but at least a few of them. And this is my little kit that I put together um, to have everything in one place. And if you notice, I have an ice pack in there because these warmers and the CDT shots, you do not want them to overheat. So I have the ice pack, I have the syringes and the needles, um, 3cc syringes, and that's for the shots. And for the worming, of course, everything is separate. Don't want to mix the ingredients together. And then I have um, 24, actually 22 gauge. I don't like the real, the 18 gauge because the bigger, the smaller the number, the bigger the needle. And just for the babies, I don't like to hurt them. So <laughs> I use the smaller needle if I can. Um, and I have some hand sanitizer and I like to put a little bit on the immunization side, a little bit of the alcohol just to kill some germs. I have a piece of paper and pen to take records and we will get going. Well, I do want to tell you the valve is in. That's a really good wormer. We use that for our babies too. And we're going to get the show on the road. Okay, this is our little dough solstice. And I'm going to put a little bit of the alcohol where we give her injection right here behind the shoulder blade or actually i'm sorry elbow i misspoke there and i'm gonna pull up a tent and then i'm gonna put the needle inside the tent and inject sorry the goat did that. <laughs> the mama goat and then rub it make sure you rub it real well so it doesn't leave a knot and it absorbs nicely into the skin and now I'm gonna give her the Valbazin. Um, I've heard different modes of thought on how much to give. I give um, 0.5 mLs. There you go, girl. You did so good, Solstice. And I do it three days in a row, and then I repeat in 30 days. And then I use um, the Famacha scale, which is looking at the whites of their, or the um, sclera the skin next to their eyes to judge by the color if they need worming or not because if you overworm and you're constantly worming the worms get immunity to it and then it gets very difficult to keep their worm loads at an acceptable level so this girl did really really good you did so good solstice you did so good all right on to the next one thank you noah Okay, and here's our beautiful little golden white buckskin girl. Isn't she gorgeous? And this is Buttercup's baby, and she looks like a spitting image of her mama Buttercup. So we're going to do the same thing and put some alcohol gel right here. And in case I didn't tell you, um, CDT is 2 mLs for any age, any size. We do it right before disbudding, where we have the little horn buds removed, and then we do it um, anywhere from three to four weeks after that, and then it's yearly for all of them for CDT. So once again, I'm going to make a little tent behind the elbow here, and then inject slowly. You first pull back just a little bit to make sure it's not in a vessel, and then you slowly inject. And then you're always going to rub and make sure that medicine gets absorbed and does not leave a knot. All right, you're doing so good. We got to give your worm and medicine, little girl. Time for your worm and medicine. And I just gently open their mouth and go on the side there, give a little squirt, and look at that little girl. She is so smart. She just took it so good. Good girl. All right number two down so we have four more babies to go 
Okay, here's our little chamoise tricolor. She's so pretty, little doe. And I'm gonna do the same thing and put the alcohol gel here behind her elbow. Okay, girl. I'm gonna pull out the tent, inject the needle, pull back slightly to make sure it's not in a blood vessel. And then we're going to slowly inject the two cc's of CDT pull out and rub and the CDT prevents um, certain types of bloat which can be deadly in any goat of any age and also a tetanus preventative so it's very important that your goats get this twice when they're babies and yearly as adults okay little one now you're gonna get your medicine I love her little did I, say, I didn't say buckskin. She's actually chamoise, which I love chamoise. She's chamoise like her daddy. Oh, be real. See, she's a feisty girl. There you go. You did so good. Good girl. All right. And I just want you guys to see this. Oh, little goatly. They love jumping on the pigs. That's her favorite pastime, isn't it, Solstice? She loves jumping on the piggies. Mama Heidi, you're always wanting scratchies. You're such a good mama. Okay, and here's our little chamois, another frosted round chamois. I'm gonna put the alcohol on her here, like we've been doing. Same principle, make a tint of skin behind the elbow, slightly above, pull back, slowly put the medicine in. You're doing good, girl. You're doing so good. There you go. Rub that knot. Make sure that dissolves completely. So good, girl. Now for your warming medicine. I know you don't like none of this, do you? Come on, baby. It's not going to hurt. I promise. Whoop. Good girl. There you go. So good. Thank you, Noah. Okay, guys. My son Noah was a huge help as always. And every last one of the babies are done. And little mama piggy, she's getting her little mud bath. Everybody's pretty calm. It's starting to actually get a little cooler. So we are done with one big chore for today. Thank you guys for joining us. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments and we'll do our best to answer them for you. Thank you for joining us. And if you like our content, please subscribe and share and like. Thanks a lot.